Ángel Sanz Brief was born in 1910 in Zaragoza. He was a Spanish diplomat during World War II based in Hungary. During the Holocaust, he used all possible resources, even putting his life at risk, to save the lives of some 5,000 Hungarian Jews. Being a diplomat, he was initially granted authorization to provide Spanish passports to only 200 descendants of Sephardic Jews who were expelled from Spain in 1492. However, he gave passports to any Jew in need. Ángel Sanz Brief arranged for a special housing to shelter Jews in buildings that flew Spanish flags under the protected Spanish negation. Not only did he arrange housing from his own pocket, but he also provided food and medical help until the passports would arrive. In 1994, in a report to the Spanish government, Ángel Sanz Brief wrote, I managed to get the Hungarian government to authorize the protection of 200 Sephardic Jews by Spain. However, instead of 200 individuals, I turned those into 200 families, and those 200 families were multiplied indefinitely. This was done through a simple procedure of not expediting any safe conduct to more than 200 Jews at any single time. Although his story is not so famous, this hero is also known as the Spanish Schindler. In fact, Ángel Sanz Brit saved many more Jews than Schindler ever did. In 1991, Ángel Sanz Brief was recognized by the Holocaust Museum Yad Vashem of the State of Israel for his heroic actions of saving more than 5,000 Jews from deportation to Auschwitz. They gave his family the title of Righteous Among the Nations inscribing his name in the Holocaust Memorial. In 1994, the government of Hungary gave him the cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Hungary. In 2015, a Budapest street was renamed in his honor. Ángel Sanz Brit was a great Spanish hero and is very deservedly referred to as the Angel of Budapest. Anita Delgado Briones was born in Malaga in 1890. In 1906, when Madrid was getting ready for the marriage ceremony of King Alfonso XIII of Spain, Yagajit Singh of Kapurtala a very rich Indian prince arrived at the capital by royal invitation. At this time, Anita was a young, pretty flamenco dancer entertaining in Madrid. Destiny wanted that their lives cross, and one evening the prince saw her perform and fell deeply in love with Anita. He convinced her family to take her to Paris, and once there, she studied protocol, how to dance, English, French, how to play tennis, how to play piano, and everything that a princess was required to know. Later, the future Maharani traveled to India where she married the prince in 1908, inaugurating with glamour 
l'Elysée, the palace that the prince built for Anita to resemble the one in France. From that day on, Anita was addressed as Maharani Prem Kaur of Kapurthala, and she stayed in Punjab for 18 years. During this time, she traveled with her husband, the Maharaja, to Asia, Europe, and the rest of the world. Anita learned about the customs of her new country, having dealt with some of them like infanticide or the sati, the ritual martyrdom of widows. She documented her life in India in significant detail in her diary, and later she published a book called Impresiones de mis viajes a las Indias. Anita Delgado also painted fantastic watercolors and collaborated with the Red Cross and the French cause during the First World War. She was a Spanish woman with a strong character and criticized the machismo and feudalism of the Indian society that she lived in. It was suspected that prior to her marriage she was never informed of local customs such as the practice of polygamy. Anita was a great Spaniard with a splendid ability to adjust to a world very different from her Western customs. She lived a unique life, a fairy tale. She met Mahatma Gandhi and many other relevant people of her time. Although Anita born the prince's son, she later divorced her husband and returned to Europe where she lived a bohemian and interesting life. In 1962, one of the most captivating and extraordinary Spanish women died in Madrid. <laughs>